Our meteorologists have been working hard all afternoon to keep ahead of this snowstorm. Yeah. Craig, it's just been crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. meteorologist Jordan Steele and I have been back there. He, we know we went on early. We've been watching a lot of this and some of you are getting a break right now. Some of you are getting hit pretty hard. So let's get started because right. this is going to be one of those kind of like rain bands. They come and they hit different places at different times with different intensity. We'll start off with look uh, Bonnie Lake. That's boy, we got some pretty cloudy conditions here. Uh, and as we look at the radar, the white indicating the snow, of course, the green, some of the rain. And I'm going to start and give you a tour just to give you a quick tour and take you around uh, the entire area, all of western Washington. You see some light scattered snow, Bellingham up to the north, that darker shade of green, maybe just some light snow, not really the heavy snow. You're looking for those bright whites to see some of the heavier snow coming in. And of course, boy, you've been getting hit as well. Uh, a lot of these areas have been getting heavy amounts of snow. You just heard squim some places up to eight inches of snow. Remember, you've got some good wind coming in out of the northeast. You've you got that lift as it hits the uh, mountains, the Olympic mountains and rings out some snow like it would rain. Sometimes when you get some of the rain on the other side of the Olympics on the western edge, uh, this is kind of what's happening on this side. Port Angeles, you got some snow here as well. I showed you pictures of the airport just a moment ago, but then you've also got in some cases some warm air moving into some places. So you could see some uh, rain snow mix at times. Uh, so at times you have the snowflakes coming down and then you'll notice they get smaller and smaller and you've got a little bit of rain coming in and then you've got some more snow. So we're watching for this as well. Renton, you've got some pretty decent snow bands coming on in. You head on over to southwestern Washington mostly in the form of rain, a little bit of mixed precipitation in the higher elevations there. Uh, into Raymond, you got mostly rain, but a little bit of mixed precipitation right along 101. And Chehalis, you got a mixture here as well. Look at this, you got a little bit, according to this, some rain in some spots and some snow as well. So we'll watch for this closely. Of course, we get some of the rain, Temperatures down into freezing. You can see some very icy conditions overnight into tomorrow morning into the mountains. We've got some more snow as well. Let's look at future cast because that's another big story for us, right? So 9 p.m. Notice how the energy is swinging around. So maybe some more snow still from Everett, Seattle, Tacoma, Olympia, Tacoma, Olympia. Maybe at this point you start to get some of the heavier rain. Puyallup or snow rather. Puyallup, well, you're not getting a whole lot just yet. You'll get some between 9 and 10 and 11. That's 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. Notice you got little pockets here, so not everybody getting it, but it's still accumulating on the ground. By the time we get until 11 o'clock tomorrow morning, yeah, most spots getting a bit of a break. So uh, the bullseye has been centered over a good portion of Puget Sound, where on average those snowfall totals will be four to eight inches of snow. And that's what we've been talking about this whole week. Winter storm warning remains till four o'clock Saturday. We also have the winter storm warning for the eastern side of the Cascades if you'll be traveling or you know people coming over on this side. So eight to 12 for the higher elevations, eight to 15 down across the south southern Cascades, and then the lower lying areas about five to 10 inches of snow. Also, we've got uh, some winter weather advisories in place as well. So we've got those for a good portion of Western Washington, all highlighted by blue here. The mountains, five to 10 inches of snow up through the San Juan Islands, the Northwest interior, an inch and a half also along the coast. And then finally, the wind, a big story for you in the Northwest interior. These winds could gust up to 60 miles per hour. This is in place till Sunday at 12 o'clock in the morning. This is where we could easily see some down trees and power lines down as well. Right now, they're at about 22 miles per hour in Bellingham. And as we go through the future cast notice by 9 p.m., you could see gusts up to 40 miles per hour. All of this energy coming in out of the north and northeast. Uh, the lower line areas, the winds anywhere from 10 to 20 miles per hour. But Bellingham, you still see some of those gusts at 40 to 45. That's Saturday afternoon. So Bellingham, you're going to see those gusty winds for some time. Let's take a look at the accumulations. So as we look at this and we pause at 1030, Seattle, about an inch or so, ever at about three. But then as you pass forward to Saturday, overnight, as we've been talking about, that's where you see some of the higher amounts come up, four to five inches of snowfall. Keep sending us your pictures. Look at all these great pictures. Jim, one of our photographers, sent his great Dane and his boxer playing in the snow. Isn't that awesome? So cute. Look at those little ears. So yeah, send us your pictures. K5 Winters, what they use for this hashtag. Uh, Mike Jensen says his dog wants to go out and play. Carissa sent this from Kent. A lot of snow on the roads. This is the concern for us. So the main arteries look pretty dry. Remember, they've been treating them. So the snow melt is in place, but those side roads are a mess and then it's piling up on the side where the grass and the dirt is. So for the next 20 or 12 hours, temperatures remaining at freezing or below for most of us. Now looking ahead to Monday, Sunday into Monday, we could still see another round if this holds up. 
We've got 6 p.m. Sunday. We've got another storm system coming on in. Question is, how much snow do we get out of this? Uh, 7 p.m. on Tuesday. So this looks like another impressive storm system. We're focused on the one tonight, but have to mention this one into next week. The big story here is we'll continue with some cold temperatures. Here's your seven day forecast. Uh, 30s for the remainder of the week. Again, we'll still see some scattered uh, snow for over the overnight hours. And then Mark and Lori, if you're not getting it, your neighbor five miles down the road might be getting quite a bit. And it, it is piling up on the not on the roads, but on those side roads and along the grass and the dirt. We'll send it back to you.